I think it's time. Brutal plus six, 300% bonus XP. You enjoy losing a lot. This option adds random mutators to a standard brutal game to increase the challenge. It is not available for the weekly mutation or custom mutators modes. This option requires playing in a party. Do you think we should pick commanders that work well together? Because I am open to suggestions. Okay, okay, CTG has already come up with the pro gamer strategy. So what we can do is load up a game of Brutal Plus 6. Then leave it, pick the correct commanders, and then go for retry Brutal Plus. So you've already lost and want to lose again in the same way. This option is only available when you've lost your last Brutal Plus game. The game will start using the same map, mutators, enemy race, and enemy composition. You may change your selected commanders. Aha. Okay. It appears we must hold Strategy talk. What's the plan? Killbots, offensive robots of a mysterious origin have, an, have been unleashed on the Caprulu sector. Polarity, microtransactions, and laser drill. Um... If you like playing, yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. There's gonna be about a million different minions moving on the map. <laughs> My frames are gonna go way too low, man. Sadly, StarCraft 2 is not particularly well optimized. In the late game in particular of co-op. Void reanimators, void rifts, evasive maneuvers, magnificent. Technically doable. We're always gonna have... You know, one very difficult one. Void Rifts is very annoying, obviously. Void Reanimators, also very annoying. Magnificent can be, deal uh, can be dealt with okay. Evasive Maneuvers can also be dealt with. Hmm. I think we can do this one. Okay, we're splitting up the rolls. I'll go ahead and play defensively. Here we go, Swan. We've got a job to do, okay? So we're gonna focus on siege tanks and then a whole bunch of these turrets right over here and we're gonna plant them around the bases. Okay, so we're gonna go concentrated beam width and damage, structure health and then Vespian drone gas. I'm not entirely sure on specific build orders right now for Swan, but I'll try and rush out a factory as well as Flaming Betty. <sighs> Delete engineer and skipper back at it again. On the rift to core hall. 300%. Brutal plus six. We will try. We will try our best. Not enough minerals. So how much does that cost? Only 10 minerals? Corporal Faraday here. Okay, that's We're pretty nuts. Deep, commanders. Aim on summoning void shards in multiple locations around the city. Their activation will result in the city's destruction and catastrophic civilian casualties. We need to destroy those shards. Uh, so in order to get Flaming Betty, I'm gonna, or rather Flaming Use Betty, I'm gonna need a factory. Awesome, Loco is playing SC2. Thank you very much, Kronlor. Gonna go ahead and grab these real quick. We'll try and, uh, and rush out the factory here in a sec. Only need the minerals for it, so it should be doable. Pretty difficult set, though. Trying to give you some additional gas here, CTG, so I can drop my drones. Starting up a drone. Ready. Free Vespi. Gotta love that, right? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay. So we're gonna try and make as many SCVs here as possible initially. Just max out as fast as we can. And we're gonna start making a bunch of turrets and then siege tanks, I think a little while later. How much do these turrets cost exactly? Just 75 for the uh, for the flaming Betty. It's very reasonable. Enemies approaching fast. Man, they look bad. Let's go ahead and power build out a couple of these guys. Come on, team. Don't really know exactly what it is we're going up against here, but. We should have a bunch of turrets ready here in time, regardless. So I do have some teleportation skills, but uh, I'm gonna be able to deal with that just fine. <laughs> Bailing Scourge. It's not ideal. Actually, if you're gonna go for flying units, I guess it's fine, right? Our 
I guess if you're going for flying units, it should be more than doable. They will have abs and swarm hosts later. Yeah. I think it's fine, though. Like, as long as I get my Zerklings out, it should be fine. Or, sorry, my Siege Tanks out, it should be fine. I mean, you can fly over everything. As long as we don't die on the ground, I think we should be okay. Oh, there's the Foyt reanimator. I guess I can kill this one. Let's just get it down. Oh, yeah, because there's actually a push over here. That's because of that Void Rift. Um, I should have been building up already on this side. I didn't really do that until just now. Okay. Gonna need to get an armory here as well pretty quick. Fair enough. That's yeah, gonna hurt a little, though. I mean, we're dealing with the defense so far. The issue is that these Void Drifts are gonna keep spawning. I'm not gonna be able to do very much if I'm sitting at home. I guess eventually, though, once the Stargates are okay... We can uh, start roaming the map much easier, because they don't have a lot of flying units here. So as long as we hold on, we should be okay. Our allies are being attacked. These turrets are very cheap. Um, oh, I should 100% get the structure armor as well. Yes, 100%. Almost forgot about those. Upgrades we don't usually use very often in StarCraft. But that is very helpful. Okay, let's idle some SCVs over there. I also need to get the high sec auto tracking. Okay. There's one hero mutalisk trying its best. I guess Swan actually can like snipe some of these uh, some of these units as well. It's just that my army is so busy attacking very random targets. I would love to upgrade here as well for a little while longer, but oh wow, guys, get back to mining, please. I actually wasn't getting resources there for a little while. Okay, gonna drop you. Okay, let's get the first objective point. Actually, I'm gonna prioritize the Void Reanimator. That thing is a pain. Now, obviously, we can try this out and retry this as long as we need to. Engineering Bay has some incredible upgrades. We should really be using those. Okay, okay. Let, let's go, Re. Oh, let's go, Re. Oh, okay. He's got another idea. <laughs> What's the other idea? Now I'm curious. We rush a mini wall at the back. A mini wall at the back. What does that even mean? We can trap the reanimators behind the base. If we bait them to the back of our base, we can trap them there. Uh. Okay, I'm sure there might be a way to do this, but I think we can honestly just try this and do it a little bit better. Yeah, I also forgot putting the drone right there on my allies' gases. It was a bit of a mess, guys. I don't think I want to rush out siege tanks. I think I want to be slower on the siege tanks. 
I should get all of my turret upgrades and then start siege tanks much later. After I essentially have somewhat secured the base. I also didn't build enough SCVs though, because I needed a lot of them for defense up here. Okay. Gonna need that flaming Betty pretty early. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. But yeah, I don't think I really want to add on any 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 siege tanks until much later. Not enough minerals. Until I can at the very least like also afford building like a second factory and all that. Okay. Activating a drone. This should hook us up with some extra gas. My thanks, cringe tan uh friend, I mean, sorry. Okay. Let's keep making as many as we can. Want to start some of these upgrades over there too. Got some bad guys coming after our base. Ready. What's going on? Okay, there are the first void rifts. Pretty annoying position. First one is down. Additional supply depots required. Our allies are being attacked. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a supply depot over here. Our SCVs are under attack. Our allies are being attacked. Not enough minerals. Okay, the Void Rifts over here are dealt with, so that should be much easier here. Let's make one of those. Did put all of the drones everywhere, so that should help. Okay. Under Trying to build up the amount of gas here that I've got, but it's no rush. Um, can we target that thing? Yeah, can you target? That'd be great. Okay. Good. There's a couple over here. Let's continue getting a bunch of these upgrades. Okay, first objective done. Much better than last time. Okay, need to start getting some turrets over here. Oh wow, under what happened over here? They teleported past and then like found a new target to attack or something? That's weird. Okay, let's catch you guys in the mining over here. Want to get that thing? Okay, we have some peace now. Okay. 
These are not allies. Are being attacked. Base is under attack. Okay. Want to get the armory? I'm attacking it with the laser. Yeah, just ping if you need me to attack something with the laser in particular. For some reason, a couple of these sneak by. Yo, can you? Okay. Yeah, we need to start upgrading that. Good. Actually. Okay. Trying my very best. There's one hero, Mutalisk, again. Okay. This will be cleaned up. Those vipers are gonna hurt, though. Like, blinding clouds on all my turrets and stuff would be a massive pain in the butt. Uh, no. There's no point in that. I just want to get that upgrade. Like, you want to have detection before you need it. <laughs> okay, the next one is the lesser... Yeah, okay, fine. We just need to... Uh, we just need to wait until we get those upgrades ready to go. Okay, so we're kind of stable-ish right now. This might be a time to start producing some siege tanks if we can find the money for it, now that the base is well defended. Um, objectives are doing okay, too. Second objective is gonna come up here. The Void Drifts, though, are gonna hurt really badly. I'm glad that this is actually really hard, though. It's pretty amazing. Need some more SCVs on idle. Nixed, as they say. <laughs> as the cool kids always say. Camaran pirates are taking advantage of the chaos to steal precious resources. Shoot those traders out of the sky if you can. Cool. Um. I would like to get that one too, but it might be a little bit too much. Um, I wonder if there's anything I should change here as far as the base defense goes. Okay. That's objective two done. Detecting newly summoned void shards. It's our job to blast them apart. I would love to upgrade this thing. Okay. I can definitely streamline this a little bit more, though. These things are pretty amazing. Do they, like, regenerate? Or, like, do they, like, resurrect each other as well? I actually don't really know exactly how that works. Probably. Okay. 
fast. Man, they look mad. A lot of units over here constantly. New subscriber detected. Not enough minerals. Not enough base is on concentrated beam online. Uh, can I kill multiples? Our allies are being attacked. I think I might be able to if I do it like this. Uh, it's a little hard to say. Base. Can't really exact, uh, exactly figure out where it's at, but I'm trying to alleviate some of the pressure over there. Okay. Those missile turrets are pretty good. Oh, we're gonna need some more idle units over here. I'm losing a lot of SCVs again though, so I need to start building up some of those and just focus on defense. Those Vipers are gonna really hurt though. CTG was talking about that earlier. Guys, stop doing the love, okay? Stop embracing each other. Repair the structures, please. Yikes. SCV is just repairing each other. Okay, so base is looking still pretty good. He's currently working on the void shards in the northern section of the map. Random Ultralisk. Unlocking more and more abilities here. Yeah, we don't really have time for a bonus objective, believe it or not. Um, I do have a nuke available. And another void shard crumbles into dust. Well done, Commander. I don't know if that's gonna be in range, to be honest. Holdly done, warriors. Is that gonna be in range? One group of yep. shards left. Crush them into dust and end this fight. Okay. Final objective. My frame rate is going down as well, so we know it's the final objective coming up. Ay ay ay. All of a sudden everything got got oh god. Uh what's going on at the base? I can't see what what units are happening. Ooh. Everything just got killed at the front. Ooh. We're rebuilding. Trying to target fire down as much as I can as well. Wish I had that nuke available here. That would have been good. You're all talk, Faraday. Ah, oh, we're being overrun. Right side is also falling. Close. I should have used the third ability defensively. Oh, I would have been fine if that was the case. He's gonna try and make a push for it. But I think there's gonna be a little bit too much. <laughs> I think he just found out the base was being overrun. <laughs> he was like busy microing the Tempest. He's like, wait a second, where's the main base? <laughs> okay, so CTG is suggesting that we go back to the drawing board. We go back to Brutal Plus Six and we change to Void Thrashing and ready up. I, th I think we're looking for like a similar set of mutators. I do like playing Swan. Maybe I can play Carrix as well, but the nice advantage of Swan, obviously, is that you get a lot of gas for your ally, too. Heroes of the Storm, Void Reanimators, Twister, Speed Freaks. Um... Hmm... 
Yeah. Those heroes will be revived as well by the Void Reanimators. We're not going to be able to do that. <laughs> Loco, another advantage of Swan is that he's sexier than Carrix. Yeah? You think Swan is better looking than Carrix? He does have those massive arms, right? Like this, this man's, like this guy, he's been shooting steroids ever since he was like seven. It's actually pretty nuts. Well, Swan looks like he's both like 35% body fat and 9% body fat at the same time. I don't know how he does it, man. Maybe it's because he's from a world with heavy, heavier gravity than Earth. Ooh, that's a good point. Heroes of the Storm, Microtransaction, Photon Overlord, Magnif or Overload Rotter. This one is doable. I just really dislike microtransactions. I can do this as Arcturus, says CTG. Hmm. I really don't like microtransactions. So giving commands to your units costs resources based on the unit's cost. I really don't like this one. So Heroes from the Storm is very annoying. Microtransactions is very annoying. Photon Overlord, uh, Photon Overload rather, very annoying as well. And magnificent. Like, all of these are annoying, but I don't think they're game-breaking. We just can't micro very much. All right, so once again, Heroes of the Storm, microtransactions, photon overload, magnificent. Brutal plus six. This does sound very doable. Reinforcements to the front line. See that rift over yonder? That's how it thrashes. Oh wow. Stop microing so much, Loco. <laughs> this is actually difficult. As someone who's been like training themselves to click a lot of buttons all the time. Because there's absolutely zero reason not to in the multiplayer. I have to be very like very careful with where I press buttons right now. I'm gonna lose so much money because of that. <sighs> okay, Loco. Don't micro. Stop microing, Loco. Don't do it. Yep. Ay, yeah, yeah, Loco. Can you give building commands for free? I don't think so. I don't think so, no. Everything basically costs money. Like, you're awarded right now as a player to have low actions per minute. Okay. I guess if I leave them on auto repair, though, they will just sort of repair as we go. Okay, I just hit a supply block again. I keep doing that as uh, S1. Additional supply depots required. Yeah. In the rear with the gear. Hey, 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 don't kill my base. Uh -huh. All day long. Our enemies are mustering. Prepare yourself. I like mustard. Not what that means. Oh. New subscriber detected. Thank you, Sepster. Okay. Raynor. Oh no. Loco, stop microing, you idiot. I don't want a micro! I want a micro, but I don't! Game's hard. I'm trying to help out too. Move out at once. Okay. I gotta get my blaster Billy there. Okay, slowly expanding. 
Let's get all of these abilities going, or upgrades going, as soon as possible. He's got a couple of Imperial Witnesses already. Put him in a mineral line. Get some additional resources. Very nice. Oh. Research complete. Thank you for the heads up. I even think making hotkey groups right now costs money. <laughs> I'm being very cautious. Alright. The Haka is gonna be picked off pretty easily. Excellent work there. First one is down. I didn't make an armory, right? Yeah, I did. Combat drop ready. I do have the combat drop here ready to go. Okay. Let's put some SCVs in the gas, even though I really don't need it. Kind of triggers me if it's not fully saturated. Oh, we're trying to do the same thing. So he's setting up these ordinances so he can basically gun down these objective points over here. I can go ahead and drop over here too. Okay, well, it's a little bit funny, isn't it? I guess I activate as many mines as I can. Good. Nuclear launch detected? Uh, okay. Yikes. I did not ex- oh god. Nova, yeah. I did not expect that. That is pretty bad. Luckily we do have the swarm ready to go. Carrix and Nova showing up. My base is going to be in some trouble again. Nova always shows up at some point. No, I don't think we actually are at a point where we have to retry. I think it's fine. We did lose quite a bit, but... I hope that the ordinances can kill all of this in time, though. That's my main concern here. Like, we should be able to defend. But right now, we lost quite a bit there with the... Uh, you know, the aggression being shut down and slowing down quite a bit. Oh, I did still have an SCV here? I didn't see it. Okay. Okay, so this one will be cleaned up eventually. I guess I can help, right? There you go. Let's go ahead and get the next upgrade here as well for the Drakken laser. And I can really start building quite a bit right now. I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of abilities. I guess for the final objective, I probably can help out quite a bit too. Okay, once again over here. Not enough 
Very nice. My beam is starting to deal quite a lot of damage here, too. I'd be much obliged. No worries. We'll keep her safe and sound. Void Thrasher eliminated. Okay. Zara tool pretty annoying. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. I'm gonna need help here. I'm sorry, I can't do this by myself, I don't think. I hope he has his cooldown available too. That would help a lot. I thought that they were gonna go to uh, the top section here, the top section of the map, but they didn't. It looked like they were gonna head over in that direction anyway. Okay. Very nice. I like this strategy a lot. Ooh, that hurts. I jinxed it by saying I like this strategy a lot, didn't I? Nobody saw that. Don't worry, CTG. I made you look real good, dude. Uh, let's get the siege tank upgrades. Is there just one siege tank upgrade? Yeah, there is. You're too hot to handle. Wait, no. Opponents in the field, or we'll be fighting them at home. Avoid Thrasher's death has been confirmed. Good. I just wonder if we get his all done in time, but. Upgrade complete. Our allies base, our allies are being attacked. Good. Man, that's so much damage. Our tennis is pretty, pretty beefy here, man. Why is our tennis so strong here? I did have quite a lot of units here set up. I don't think these siege tanks are necessarily the best choice here. They barely do anything, it feels like. Our tennis is so beefy. 2000 health. Okay. The thing is, the fortress is taking damage while this is going on, right? Okay. I thought my cooldown there would be enough. We have a thousand health remaining. Thank you, decent sized balls. Appreciate it. Thank you for the support, man. Very generous of you. Yeah, so now it's five of them active at once. I can definitely help out in this regard, but... I don't think we're going to be able to do this before the time runs out. I guess the advantage, though, of playing Carrix here, I think, I think Carrix might be better. Because I can go Spear. And actually help out with the objective, right? Like, right now, I can't really do much with my Siege Tanks. Because my Siege Tanks right now are basically useless. If I go ahead and upgrade... You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's a lot of potential there. Okay. 
now. Let's try that. Sure that it's safe. Plus, I can help out with objectives more. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm sure he figured that part out as well. I think Carex might be a good idea here. <clears throat> we both have a million gas, I assume, anyway. Um, Carex. <clears throat> okay. So we're gonna blast that thing down here in a sec. Okay. See that rift over yonder? That over yonder? Appears on the battlefield. Get ready to welcome it, would you? It's an expensive little scouting probe over here. Chrono boost online. Our structure should now operate with greater efficiency. Okay, we just keep making probes right now until I'm either fully saturated or until I've got 400, 400 minerals that is, not 400 probes, that would be a little bit of an overkill. I want to go ahead and build the Nexus as soon as possible. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He can power build like no tomorrow, look at that. It's pretty nuts, right? Like, Mengsk does have some really cool strategy variety because of that. <laughs> Alright, and just like every good protos on the ladder, I will go for the forge as my first tech structure. Does that hit home to anyone? <laughs> Loco, don't bully me like that. I'm sorry, dude. Hostiles will reach us soon. I look forward to hearing your plans. Um, there's only gonna be like one thing here initially, but I'm only gonna have like these things available. Photon cannons for the time being. Should be okay. We want to add on some gases and stuff so we can get a lot of monoliths. the noise that those things made. Spot on. Alright. So there's a lot of great upgrades in the uh, Solar Forge over here as well as the regular Forge for all of my static defense. New subscriber detected. Thank you, Dean Shadow hey, and Chuckle Vision. DIDNT have the time to look your stream for four months. Wow, that's a long time. You still do good content. Thank you, buddy. Welcome back. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and prioritize the upgrades over here for my Static defense first and then we'll go for the solar forge upgrades and all that I don't think I want to go too nuts here on the defense just yet I don't really know exactly where the next wave is gonna attack CTG is the next wave gonna be guaranteed in one spot. Do you know? He seems like the kind of guy that knows that kind of thing New subscriber detected. Hi, Loco, can I get my yearly blue ball? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can, Kinosar. I will add a, an ornament to the tree for you in just a minute. Hey, after this game. After we smash Brutal plus six. We will do our best to prevent its fall. An enemy force is en route to our position. <sighs> Last time I was over here, right? You have not enough minerals. 
Was it in the center? No, it wasn't. It wasn't there. New subscriber detected. Portal limitations. A lot, a lot of different things. I would show you, but we're kind of in the middle of them. Okay. New subscriber detected. So many subs today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Twitch Prime, indeed. Okay, let's get some pylons set up over here too. I do have my meme beam here ready to go. Yeah, I want to go ahead and uh, build a gateway here as well so we can get some energizers and Donation all that. Donation confirmed. Thank you, thank Benhammer for the support. Actually, it wasn't really attacked, or we weren't really attacked here in the bottom section until much later. Okay. These monoliths are really good when it comes to sniping heroes. So I figured that would be helpful. Thank you very much for helping out here. I don't know if it's going to be Nova here guaranteed again next time. Is this going to be Nova again? Yep, it is. Okay, well, I'm going to lose everything here. The meme beam, though, is going to be helpful, right? I hope so, anyway. Um, let's go ahead and get the gases going. You know what? We didn't lose nearly as much as last time. We can definitely get these upgrades over here. Um, okay, fine. I'll get some photon cannons. Nova, come on. Get out of the way. <laughs> we need to kill you. Could you go ahead and kill those, please? I need a bunch of gas. Okay. So, we need to start upgrading the Solar Forge quite a bit here as well. It's gonna make the game much easier. Good. It's the second objective point done. We can focus on that one right now. Um... I'm going to go ahead and build up the Twilight Council as well, and I will boost, so we can hopefully get that upgrade as soon as possible. I want to go ahead and get that one, the solar efficiency, really quick. So we'll save up here for a sec. It appears the enemy is advancing. Prepare to meet them in combat. Well, I wanted to save up, but... Got any one of those, too. They help a little bit. Wait, do the attack waves always go in the exact same location? Because I could just learn the order of things and it would make it much, much easier. Okay. Very good. Energizer that plitting ordinance. Um, wait. Do they benefit the Earth Splitter Ordnance as well? They do? Oh, well, we can give it a try. 
Okay, I really need to start spending some gas, though, right now on my upgrades, guys, because I'm super late on those. Zaratul, sit down, dude. We're done. Everything is gone here already. See? Dolce. Okay, next objective. Doing okay. I am activating Chrono Boost now. That should greatly increase the output of our structures. Okay. I would love to get that one too, but I'm not gonna have to gas for that at this point because I've been spending my gas on all these turrets and stuff. Oh well, that's gonna hurt a little. Understood. We need to protect the objective. Understood. What a strange conversation to have. Okay. Okay. Nice. Those are gone now too. Ooh. I just used my energy right there to try and help out on the main objective. And here are the Haka and Kerrigan hanging out again. Should be fine. Artanas though, super beefy, man. Artanas does not mess around. But even losing the natural here would not be the end of the world. Yeah, it's three heroes right now. Very annoying. Okay, so Artana should go down. The Haka should go down. Garrigan's still very high in HP, but... Oh, Artanas obviously comes back again because he's a jerk. This is the scariest wave, actually. Maybe there's another one after this that's more terrifying, but... Okay. The expansion lives. We're starting to work right now on the final objective point. I do have my purifier beam ready to go as well. I'll save that for the next attack wave. Um, we'll get that thing going too. Okay. That wasn't perfect though. We can do this a lot better. Like I could have saved my energy there and not helped out on the objective. But last time we were in this position, there was only a thousand health on Sergeant Tamaris' fortress. And right now we are at much more than that. So this is already an improvement. The Void Thrashers are on the field. Check them out, Commander. I mean, I could also use my Void Thrashers over here, to be honest. Or, or rather, my, my beam over here. But I'm not too... Like, I, I'll use that as like a last-ditch effort if we absolutely need to. Void Thrashers are starting to burn a hole through the fortress's ceiling. So, you know, that seems bad. Advance. Okay. Here's the next wave. Are they going to the center? I don't know where they're gonna go. Nobody knows where they're gonna go. Just hanging out over here, you know what? Uh, don't waste. <coughs> I didn't waste anything. Warriors, I killed them dead. Your defenses. They will soon be tested. Okay, so we're working on the ones in the center. Now I've got energy pretty quick right now. Oh, he's actually going up north? Um, it's once again Artanis, but I don't think I need to worry here too, too much. Nah, he's gonna be fine. I can start beaming here as well. I think I'm going to start doing so. Next attack wave is probably going to show up pretty soon. We are at 750 health right now on the main objective. 
I could have probably made army here, to be honest. You know what? I didn't even need to make army. I could have actually started upgrading my solar, like, solar forge much earlier. Because we were totally fine here defensive. Like, defensively speaking, other than that one big wave. Okay, last one. 500 health. One more thrasher. Okay, the attack wave is up here. Have we done it? Oh, he used his nuke. There it is. Brutal plus six. That was extremely close. That could have been a disaster. Luckily, CTG's solar bombardment equivalent came off cooldown there. The 41 tactical missiles that flew across the map with the follow-up of one nuclear missile. <sighs> that was much closer than it needed to be, though. So, I could have 100% played that better. Um, it seems like all of the hero waves go into the same... I guess if we look like at our base from like the three different lanes, right? They seem to go into the same lane every time. And I was kind of positioning my defenses in the wrong place every time because it seemed like they were going in one direction and then they like sort of just went to another lane instead um that could have done uh, that could have been done much better and then secondly i could have then used those resources to focus on upgrading my solar forts a little bit faster which would have meant that i could help out on the main engagements a little bit faster as well <sighs> pretty great work there though so that was the hardest difficulty that the game has to offer how much experience do I get? Two hundred thousand? Two hundred thousand on the dot? Amazing. So the difficulty bonus is sixty thousand, which ironically is is much less than just doing a brutal mutation mission. So we've done the hardest difficulty in the game. We've done um, co-op brutal plus six. It's a great system. I really do like the fact that there are some additional difficulties that are indeed added to the game. It does seem, though, that some of them are much harder than others. Like, on paper, you can probably get, like, Heroes of the Storm, Polarity, Black Plague, and, like, microtransactions or something all at the same time, which would literally not be doable. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's not something you can do. I think the combination of mutators we just had was very reasonable. Really happy to see that they decided to add in a little bit more. And even though they uh, they told me that I uh, I should enjoy losing a lot, we didn't really lose that often. Only a couple of times. GG.